that to applaud you. So, and then, but the way we have apparently set this up is I'm going to speak to the press, and I'm sorry, I'm going to have my back to you for a moment, but then I'm going to visit with you, and because I really am here to thank you all. I know how everyone here has been working around the clock, as you always do in moments like this. So I'm going to address the press, and then we're going to have a conversation. Okay, okay, hi. <laughs> So good afternoon to everyone. Um, Deputy Administrator Hooks, I thank you and, and everyone here for their leadership. As I, as I said briefly, I know who is here. I know what you each do. And you are so selfless in the way that you serve our country. And in particular, at times like this, people who are just so desperately in need of help, support, and just knowing that the resources are going to be expedited to them as they need it in their most vulnerable situation, when their families have been at risk, where their homes may have been destroyed, where they lack just basic essential needs. You all do that work around the clock as though these are your family members. I know how you work and I know how hard you work. So I am here mostly to thank you all for all that you do, everyone who is here and everyone who's on the ground in the region at the moment. Um, and I am here to also talk about um, where we are based on the briefings I have been receiving over the last couple of days. Um, I have received regular briefings on the impact of Hurricane Helene, including from Administrator Chriswell. And over the past 24 hours, I have spoken with Governor Kemp of Georgia, Governor Cooper of North Carolina, and many local officials. I have shared with them that we will do everything in our power to help communities respond and recover. And I've shared with them that I plan to be on the ground as soon as possible, but as soon as possible without disrupting any emergency response operations because that must be the highest priority in the first order of business. The devastation from Hurricane Helene is immense. Millions of Americans are without power. Thousands of families have lost their homes. Entire neighborhoods have been destroyed. Major roads have been blocked or damaged, leaving entire towns inaccessible at this very moment. Already, nearly 100 people have been confirmed dead, and hundreds more are missing. The destruction we have seen in Alabama, Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Virginia is heartbreaking. In coordination with state and local officials, President Biden and I will continue to make sure that communities have the support and the resources that they need, not only to respond to this storm and its immediate aftermath, but also the resources they will need to recover. So far, more than 3,300 federal personnel are on the ground to assist with recovery efforts. They are deploying food, water, and generators. And we continue to work with teams on the ground to restore water and power as quickly as possible. To everyone who has been impacted by this storm, and to all of those of you who are rightly feeling overwhelmed by the destruction and the loss, our nation is with you. And President Biden and I, and all of the folks behind me, are with you. We will continue to do everything we can to help you recover and to help you rebuild, no matter how long it takes. And I do believe the true character of a nation is revealed in moments of hardship. Over the past few days, our nation has endured some of the worst destruction and devastation that we have seen in quite some time. And we have responded with our best, with the best folks who are on the ground and here doing the kind of work that is about rising to a moment of crisis to do everything we can to lift up folks who deserve to be seen and heard. Communities have been coming together. People are checking in on their neighbors. Families are opening their doors to strangers in need. And as they always do, our first responders are working around the clock, putting their own lives at risk to keep our communities safe. Moments like this remind us we have so much more in common than what separates us. And the true measure of our leadership, each one of us, is based on lifting other folks up, knowing how we can make a difference. So I thank everyone for rising to this moment, and I thank you all here 
for the work that you each do. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. Thank you all very much. Thank you.